But oh dear. Something's not looking good. Well, I found a leak. So it looks like that's all hooded up. Looking at it, I think this side's going as well. Oh, morning, 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 morning. Right, we are off to get the part for my VFR, the leaking radiator hose. So, Gordon Flash has picked up the hoses for me. So I'm going to meet him. It's Saturday morning, it's a beautiful day. I'm eating breakfast en route, me banana. So I'll see ya when we get to Gordon. Oosh! Morning guys, bit of a different one today. Not on the bike. And I'm on a mission. I've got some hoses for Craig in the back of the car and we're meeting up the other just on the other side of Litchfield, meeting halfway. And the usual thing, plan my route out. <clears throat> And there's road stoppages, roadworks. So I'm having to go around me out a bit at the moment, so I'm not stressing. He'll wait for me when I get there, until I get there, I know he will. So yeah, that's the thing. We're on a mission. See you in a bit. I'll tell you what, I wish I was on the blooming bike today. But mine's off the road at the moment. I'm waiting for brake pads to arrive back and front. So like anything else, waiting list for everything at the moment but never mind hopefully I'll be here shortly and I get them on and get it back on the road again I think Craig's a bit desperate to get his, his bike back on the road again unfortunately he's, I think he's tried to order from the main Honda dealer uh, and there's a back log with them as well so I think it's one of those things we have to put up with at the moment unfortunately seven minutes away Craigy baby Soon be with you. You doing, pal? You right? I'm alright, yeah, you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, mate. Up, Thanks for meeting us, mate. Yeah, yeah, do you want a brew? Oh, a brew? What yeah. do you want? Eh? What do you want? Coffee there, yeah, yeah, coffee. So, coffee. We got hoses and we got birthday cake. This is the gold! And I think, if you look at these hoses, I don't know if you can see in the lights. Can you see in there a bit of the coolant build up? I think on mine, I think it's quite excessive. And I think what's happening is that build up in there is not allowing the metal pipe off the radiator to sit sealed. So I think it's allowing coolant past it. You know, I don't need all of them, but at least I've got them all there, so I've got a few spares if I need them. And we got birthday cake off Mr. Keeling. What a top bloke. Right, the Gordo, I want to get off, mate. All right, mate. See you again. Anyway. Say bye bye. Bye, see you soon. Take care. Thank you very much again, pal. Right, yeah, much appreciated. Yeah. Hope you're working for you. Anyway. Yeah. Stay. See you in a bit. Oh. Thanks to Gordon. We've got my hoses, special eBay jobs. So the ones I've got leaking is, hold on, let me get this right. Which way around does this go? This one, that's it. This pipe's leaking and this pipe's leaking. So I've got these two. I've got the rest of the kit. 
so if any any of the other roses leak at least i can do them so i went to meet gordo as you see on the video just he handed me the parts i paid him the money i walked through the door and guess what was here when i walked through the door the bloody genuine ones turned up which i thought were back ordered so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fit i'm going to fit the genuines because at least they're brand new but at least i've got a spare set of hoses in case i ever need them so just my luck that is so i spent 20 quid on them which is a bargain and them too they've cost me 44 quid but at least the vf will be fixed we don't want a leaking bike so that's the one we need to undo so what we're going to need to do you're going to catch it in a bottle and then i need to put the bolt in quick because i think it's a gonna spurt Let's see if we can capture it. Get ready. And I think I'm going to fill this bottle, so I will need oh, make sure we get that little washer. Pretty clear. Okay. So we're going to need another bottle. Right. Here we go for the next gusher. So I suppose now we can get those pipes undone. So as we can see we've had a bit of a leak there so I need to change this one and that one coming off it. I'm just going to phone God. Here we go we've got God on the phone. How you doing? How you doing pal? You alright mate? Yeah not bad mate. Right I think I've ordered the new pipes which have come and I think I've found the source of the leak right so if you just bear with me let me flip the camera around see if you I mean yeah, no see if you agree right so took the pipe off the pipe looks fine can't see anything in the pipe yeah. but I thought because I've disturbed the pipes I thought I might as well replace them while I'm here anyhow but on the bottom there off the rad around that side yeah. there's a massive load of cud built up which is over the lip yeah. so i think yeah. i think all that build up there which, it it's sticking over the lip so i reckon that's stopping it sealing yeah i reckon you might have uh yeah you might be right that, that actually looks like um that actually looks like lime scale yeah yeah, you'll get, you'll, get, you'll get lime scale in the cooling system if you don't use distilled water in there. So yeah. if somebody's used tap water, then that can promote... That's what my suspicion is. That I reckon I reckon the guy who's had it before has probably done that, topped it up with water, because this side is exactly the same. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So, I mean, I've got both pipes. I'm Because I've disturbed the pipes and I'm 13 years old, I thought I might as well replace the pipes while I'm here. Uh, but yeah, but I reckon, I reckon that's what they've done. I reckon they've topped it up because it is quite it's like dry salt, it's quite furred up the pipes. So, what do you reckon then with that, Kev? Do you reckon fill it up with um distilled water and let it get up to temperature and let it do a good circulation? Yeah, yeah, just give it, let, just, just give it a good let it circulate around the engine, yeah. and that should, that should cap all the old coolant as well. Yeah. And then when you drain it again, um, you should be fine. Yeah. Don't forget that water itself is actually a better coolant than and you know than a 50 yeah. 50 mix yeah water itself is, is the ideal coolant 
the yeah. problem with water is it freezes in when yeah. it's cold. Yeah. And then that can crack your block. So Which, in an ideal world, if we if we if we didn't um, you know, if the temperature didn't go didn't freeze, you'd use plain water. Uh, yeah. You know, plain still water yeah. because it's the best coolant. Yeah. But we add the gasoline glycol in there because it's got a few corrosion if it is and it stops it freezing. But uh, yeah, so everybody yeah. That's Kev Shed. You've probably all seen the videos. You all know it. But if not, I'll put a link up. So this repair I'm doing on the bike with the coolant leak is following Kev Shed's video. I'm doing a coolant change. So it's thanks to this man. As I said, God. But uh, thanks again, pal. I'll let you know how I'll get on with it. Yeah, I'll let you know. Cheers, bud. Cheers, later, mate. I definitely think that is the problem there. Let's see if I can get this light in better. All that crud and it looks quite and i think as kev said that might be the case there's been water used in it and it's caused a lot of minerals and corrosion i mean inside the pipe looks fine but again i think um i've got new pipes for it you know the bike's 13 years old i think because i've disturbed them it's not going to hurt to put new pipes on so that's the culprit i think if the camera can see it this pipe has a little lip on the edge and that lip is what sits tight inside the pipe as you can see that's all crudded up so i think that's allowing the coolant to pass up the inside of the pipe and at the top i think someone's been putting water topping this up with water because that's quite a fair bit of corrosion look at it all there's the ridge so I think with all this build up it was allowing coolant past the pipe that bit looks alright but if you look at that end so I reckon that has been stopping its ceiling against the pipe. Look at that. Okay, let's tighten that up. Okay, that's one side done. Now, we just need to do this side. That's done. Oges are replaced, them all tightened up. So I think all we're gonna to do tomorrow is get some distilled water, we'll fill the system, we'll run it up, take out the drain plug from the water pump again and flush the system out, give it a good clean, and then we'll put the new coolant in. So hopefully we have cured the problem. We'll soon find out tomorrow. Right, I'm going to have, I'm going to have my curry, so I'll see you in the morning. 
Good morning and welcome back to Mav Shed. So it's Sunday, we've put the pipes on yesterday. What I've done this morning, I've put the drain plug back in the water pump. And I've also drained the expansion bottle the other side, so I forgot to do that yesterday. So I've made my own little funnel. I've not got all the equipment Kev shed got, so I've made mine out of a Tesco bottle. Other brands are available. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to fill the system with distilled water and then I'm going to run it up, get it up to temperature, let everything work, the thermostat, the water pump, wash the system out, then drain it again and then I can put the new coolant in. Right, so let's get some of this water in. Now let's just see if I spill it everywhere. Look at that, looks a treat. And plus we'll see if there's any leaks in the pipes. Right, okay, let's start it up. So far, we are looking good. There's no, no leak at all. I've checked the other side. The other side looks good. So I'm gonna leave it running up now um, with the distilled water in. Let it clean the system and I'll flush it. And then we'll put the coolant in. Oh yeah. We've gone for pink. Matches my nail varnish. Oh, God's sake. Right, we are done. We've had a bit of a spillage on the floor, but that ain't too that ain't a problem. Now let it uh, let it warm up. Let it burn all this off. And then we'll let it cool down. And then we'll check the levels later this evening. Oh yeah, I think we fixed it. Oosh. She's a done. Okay then, let's take it for a road test. Let's try it out. Now I've only got my jeans on and my trainers. I don't make an habit of not riding without my protective gear on. But we're not going far. Right, now I've got a couple of loose fairing parts here. I need to make sure they don't fall off. I've got my heated grips wire in there. I don't watch that don't get trapped in anything. Right, let's have a look at the hose. Can we see it? Right, okay. Let's go and try it out. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep stopping and just checking that pipe. Because obviously now I've got no fairing on, I've got nothing to catch it if it leaks. So what we'll do, we'll just go over 
we'll go over this island then we'll pull up and have a look and I've even got my summer gloves on what, what temperature are we on 10 degrees air temperature so I think Tuesday it's Sunday today Tuesday it's supposed to be about 21 degrees right let's have a look let's have a look what we got turn the movies in a bit as well I can't see right so far we are looking good looks good that side coolant's not dropped oh hold on a minute there's a tiny bit this side now I'm just hoping that's just because they're new pipes right okay let's run it a bit more and then we'll check again no actually I don't know on these VFRs if you get any kind of an indication or a warning if your coolant level's too low or if the bike's too hot I know you've got the temperature gauge but I don't know if any light flashes if anybody knows that put it in the comment it'd be interesting to know it's not pulling the bus stop we don't want to get squished by a buzz Have another look. Well, that bit seems all right. That one seems all right. Okay, maybe it's just a bit of coolant. What was? At the top of the hose, I don't know. Does it need to just burn off or dry out? Or maybe uh, it just needed the bike actually being moving, as in different RPM, water pump going, thermostats, I don't know. I'm not that mechanically minded. But I do like to have a go at doing it. There's enough information out there. Thanks to Kev Shed. God himself. So I followed his instructions. The only thing I'm thinking is I'm wondering if the bottom of that radiator hose, if that's not perfectly round, if it's you know slightly out of shape or something. But I don't know where that would have got out of shape. I mean, obviously, the O clip what was on there looked like it was the original one. That's it, give it a good belt. Let's see if that's done anything. Right, let's pull over. Let's have another look. Let's have another look, let's have another look. Still staying pretty good there. We're looking pretty good there. Coolant's not dropped. Still looks a bit, a bit moist on the top of that pipe. Why don't we just try and dry it off? Okay. 
Yeah, so thanks to Kev Shed and his instructions and the phone call to him. And a big thank you to Flash for picking up the hoses for me. Thank you very much for all of your help to get my bike back on the road. All right, Jim. How you doing, Jim? Right, let's have a look. Okay. Okay, we have no more seepage that end. Okay. We have no more seepage that end. That's good. I mean, look at this. That's, this is the only problem with the fared bike. You get that much crap under there. I mean, look at the state of it. Must that much crap builds up there. Obviously, when the fairing's on, you don't you don't notice it, and you think, "Oh, my bike's in lovely condition." But I think, as um, Motorway said, he's bought a front fender extension. So I think I might look at one of them. Try and stop so much crap getting thrown up. Could do with lubing my chain as well for Church Stratton. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Clear, clear, clear. Diarrhea. Right, I think we have cured of a coolant leak. I think my time will tell actually will be tonight when When it's been left to cool down, I suppose everything's contracted. Oh, that looks better. I think we're good with that, guys. I'm happy with that. That water's earlier from the floor well cleaned, the decking. A slight bit of moisture there, but will that see it itself? I suppose we will find out. But it's looking good so far, we'll check on it tomorrow once it's cooled down. I'll come back again and um, We'll start it up once I've been to work. And we'll see how we go. So we'll see you, hopefully, at Church Stratton. Oosh!